Okay, what is up everybody? Pig butt! Isn't it nice? Okay, we're here with a lovely new Birchlandia. So let's go ahead and get into our first person build for this lovely week. Actually, there's only one person build for this lovely week, and that is Blue Monkey's Fruit Farm Shop. Now, this is just an actual fruit shop, but I called it Fruit Farm Shop just for the fact that I actually like the way it sounded. And as you can tell, we decided, or I decided, honestly, to incorporate this lovely little back area into a little, you know, farm that you can harvest your fruits. Everything from watermelon to, you know, your heart's desires, whatever grows on this tree, I don't know. I just wanted, you know, to have these exotic trees that would show some sort of fruit growing on them. And I know none of these grow fruit except this lovely tree right here. I'm sorry I hurt you a little. I'm going to grow you back. I'm going to mend you because I'm a good guy. And I don't want Blue Monkey to get mad at me for hurting his apple tree. That's an apple tree. These could be anything. I don't know. It kind of looks like a pecan tree. Is a pecan a fruit? Probably not. I don't know. But I like it, and I just thought it looked really nice. So let's go ahead and go inside. And yes, I'm very happy about this and the way it turned out. There's a lovely little tree actually growing in the inside. And it's got like a like a, like a greenhouse-style roof to it. So I actually really enjoyed uh, incorporating that. And it kind of has the same design as Team Crafted's build. Uh, as you can tell, it's got that elevated look as um, Blue Monkeys now has. So I'm very happy about that. I thought that turned out quite nicely and like I said, apple tree inside. These are just a lovely book so you can learn about certain fruits and varieties that said uh, Blue Monkey may be able to get to you. Um, you know, he may not have it in his farm, but maybe he can find somebody that actually has it and you can actually get it to your farm. So, that is very nice and here are some lovely things that you can come in and actually just get. You can get everything from apples to pears to apple pears. I'm gonna call those heirs and well lemons I, I know that's not a lemon it's a sunflower and i'm sure sunflowers aren't fruits i think they're just seeds so yeah that is a lemon in my mind so that is a lemon lemon is a fruit i'm sure i wouldn't think a lemon would be a vegetable no 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 no, no. and this is our lovely man who i have trapped in here so he can't get in and out oh he's bobbing his head at me Whoa, yeah he's like partying but yeah uh let's go ahead and go in the back and i can kind of show you a little bit on the floorage i have grown a few um watermelons and i hate that these ones kind of went out i was hoping they would all kind of be in the same kind of row but i have nothing to actually keep them in row and i didn't want to you know put anything up right here i could put a fence up here actually that wouldn't be too bad of an idea so i may add that later down the line and then all the actual watermelons will be together that's what i wanted and yes this is just a lovely little area that you can walk it's a little passage area very beautiful little area I still hate how 1.7.4 kind of incorporated itself. So if you see this back wall, I didn't do that. I don't use World Edit. Everything I do, I do by hand. Uh, this is just how 1.7.4 introduced itself into Burtlandia. That's just where I haven't hit yet. And for some reason, it put itself like that. So I really hate the blockiness, but we'll be past that eventually. And we'll be past that blockiness and we'll just actually be in 1.7.4. So, let's go ahead and go on to our next build. We have three more builds to show you, and you can see two of them over there, and there may be something over there we may be able to show you. So, yes, look forward to that. Okay, so I'm going to show you the farthest build, because these two builds are right here, and we can show you those last. But we're going to show you this one right here that we put on the pier. We've had, finally, a new build on the pier, and that is a building called Blockbuster. No, not the actual movie place, you know, where you rent movies and stuff. This is just called Blockbuster. This is where you come to get all your stuff that can break blocks. So you need stuff that can break, you know, stones. You can get your, you know, pickaxe. You want to break some sort of dirt or gravel or sand. You can get your shovels. You need to break some sort of tree. There you go. You need to break up the ground, not break entirely the ground. Get your hoe. Get your hoe in there. And, you know, got snacks. Like movie, or not movie gallery. See, I grew up in a place where it was movie gallery, not blockbuster. So, yeah, if I accidentally say movie gallery, I meant blockbuster because I didn't have a blockbuster growing up as a kid. I had movie gallery. So, um, yes, this is that lovely little um, area, and this is where you can get all your lovely pickaxes. Yet again, another man who's stuck and can never leave. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, so yes, I really enjoyed this. It says, thank you, come again. Thank you. Thank you, come again. Thank you. And I actually... <laughs> I forgot I even put this up here. Um, I originally started building blockbusters as an actual blockbuster. So what I should probably do is uh, remove these Blu-rays that I had uh, installed and actually put some pickaxes in. So let's uh, let's do that. Okay, now there's pickaxes up there, not Blu-rays. I had originally built this completely like blockbuster, and I completely forgot what the actual comment said, and I had to go back, and I was like, "You dummy!" And I had to refix everything. So 
that's why that was there. But let's go ahead and move on to the next two builds. Very beautiful build. I kind of incorporated the actual blockbuster style design that it has. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that, you know, the big blue thing in the front. So yes, let's go on to our next two builds. And they're right over here. Now this is a very interesting build. The outside, I just feel like you guys should be able to look at this and know what it is. Just for the fact that it kind of has the same design no matter where it is always. But normally you see it in malls. You don't normally see it just by itself, a shop. And that is American Eagle. I'm sorry, Armor Armorican Eagle. Armor in Can Eagle. So it's Armorican Eagle. So you get your armor. And have you ever noticed how American Eagle's doors are always fucking open? Yeah. Well, I went ahead and go ahead and incorporated that, so that's why the doors are always open. These guys. Oh, they must have gotten a fight. That's sad. Okay. Either way, this is where you can come in and you get your lovely American Eagle apparel or American apparel. I'm having a twing tester, twing to tongue twister. Okay, but yes, this is where you can get all your lovely armor and your apparels that you can use with said uh, armor. So these are things that you would carry around to look good while wearing um, this. If you think you would prefer a wood sword, you can use this. If you prefer an uh, iron sword, you can use this, gold or diamond. It just depends on what your, your fashion is. And this is where you come to actually get your fashion. Speaking of fashion, um, the reason I have this hat on is because I have really bad hair. And I just felt like wearing it. So if you're judging the hat, don't judge. I have poo poo hair. I went to bed with wet head. I got this really big poof that's like right here. And I'm like, mm -mm, they ain't seeing that. So yeah, that is the reason I'm wearing this. So fashion or no, I'm sorry about that. But yes, here's your really fashionable, fashionable stuff. So this is the diamond and gold. Uh, there's some gold over there, but this is the, the blingy of bling. This is the Louis Vuitton of bling so yes this is the really nice section and have you ever noticed how american eagle always has the little section right in the middle it either goes horizontal or vertical i went ahead and made this one horizontal so if you guys enjoy i'm glad these two have made up let's go ahead and leave and go to the next store um and that is a weapon shop weapon package store i don't know why i called it a package store but i just kind of thought that was a neat idea for a store build name and i called it the weapon package store so let's go ahead and go inside this is a simple build very simple build and it has everything just from your swords uh, to your bows. Just for the fact that that's all the weapons you really need. Um, I mean, you could burn somebody, but what's a little bit better than that? You can use swords and you can use bows. That's all you need. That's all you'll ever need. And there's no one down here because he's been killed. No, I just didn't put anybody in here village-wise just for the fact that who's going to steal from an armor or not an armor store, a weapon store? You're asking to die. You will be hunted down and killed. There's probably surveillance in here, and you just don't know it. No, got your face, know your name, know your address, come find you and come kill you. So yes, don't ever steal from a weapon shop. And this is that lovely weapon shop. Short, sweet, to the point kind of build right there. And those were amazing, wonderful builds. This was just a small um, adding into the corner build. So I was glad I was able to incorporate it. But now, we're done. We're done with this little area. We're done with this little island, and we have now built a bridge we have now built a bridge over to this little area and if you can remember if you can't go back look it up uh, there used to be a huge uh, little biome a little small jungle biome right here and uh, I had to delete it all I deleted it all um, as always I don't use slash slash uh, world edit I don't have it um, or I'm sorry slash slash one slash slash one I don't have it there is no slice slice one. There's none of that in my game. So I did it all by hand. I want you guys to just remember that. And I think that just makes me appreciate the game that much better. So I don't I don't cheat. I do this all by hand and it allows me to enjoy it that much better. But now we have this lovely little area. I'll probably flatten that down as well because we're going to be doing something with this, this mountain. So uh, as always, leave your lovely ideas in the comment sections. Also, the Minorama ticket winner was Silver Rules 01. Just so you know, I had to... Just, sorry, I moved the mic and I didn't want to say something while I was moving the mic because I heard it scraping. So, yes, I wrote it down on a subway. <laughs> I wrote it down on a subway little napkin. So, Civil Rules 01. I'm glad you were able to win your Minorama ticket and I hope you can come and say hello. Thank you for getting me a Minorama ticket, Bert. And I will hopefully see you at Minorama in New York City. So, yes. Um, but, yes, as always, write your comments in the comment section down below of all the builds that you would like to see. If you don't have an idea, if you don't have an idea, make sure you look through the comments. If you see something you like, give it a thumbs up. That allows me to know that you actually enjoy that said build. And uh, yes, we will be joining all this lovely area to this. 
but we already have the bridge, so it's already joined. And then we'll be conjoining this little area to that. We may use that little area over there. Hell, we may go over in that little valley, but the original plan was to jump from here to here, and then from here to there. But we may go over here. I don't know. It's so far in the future, we have no clue what we're going to do just yet. But this is our lovely little area that we're going to be building with right now. So just think of your lovely ideas that you would like to see in this little area. So yes, I shall say goodbye now. And I hope you guys can like this video, comment on this video. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. So yes, good day and goodbye. Don't worry, I'm not sponsored by Subway. I'm sponsored by Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I wish... Okay, I think you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, I now want you to move onward to our next video, and that is going to be on Bam Lounge. Go check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. It's quite smelly.